I went astray But I could have become someday Father, have I lost my way? guitar player community that travels on planes. Now, taking guitars on planes is difficult. You have to have a really good flight case so that it doesn't get trashed. And then it still gets trashed. I remember uh, Mike Keneally, amazing guitar player, coming into my studio in LA to record a part. He just came from Europe and they literally ripped open uh, with a crowbar his Fender case to look what's inside. So what? They deliberately broke it and well, didn't fix it and he was shit out of luck. Um, but then of course, there's throwing, there's there's so and so, so many uh, Facebook posts and social media posts about guitars being broken by airlines. Now, if you travel with multiple guitars, you either need multiple high-end cases or one really high-end case that protects your guitars. And it's difficult to find them because how do you test it? Technically, the test that I'm doing, I would have to travel with these guitars and see what I'm saying holds true. But I've seen pictures of the Scott Dixon triple row guitar case. Um, it was, I don't want to say something wrong, some big band, some bass player had his bass in it. And the case literally got rolled over by a uh, one of those uh, vehicles on an, uh, on an airport and it rolled over it. The case was mushed. Now, the idea of these cases is they're aluminium and that makes them relatively light for the size which is good and the idea is that they get bent which is why I'm not throwing this off the roof or anything to test it because it will devalue this brand new case so I've seen pictures all you can do is well trust me of these cases looking beat to shit the idea is that the aluminium takes all the uh, force and bends but doesn't hurt the guitars inside. The guitars inside are um, protected with this foam and uh, very tightly squeezed in from all sides. Now, as you can see in uh, some of the clips I'm throwing, I'm, I'm throwing you, I'm showing you, um, you have to really adjust it and customize it to your instruments, which I try to do here with these three guitars. Uh, in the bottom, there are these uh, uh, hard foam uh, things where you have to move them around to make sure that the distance is correct. Uh, for the necks, you can take these out. All of them can be taken out actually with the included hex wrench, which is uh, Velcroed in the back. I would recommend not having this hex wrench in the case when you're traveling because all that it needs to happen, all that it, because all that needs to happen is that thing to get loose from its Velcro cage and bang up your guitars and scratch them up. So it's nice that it's in there, but don't travel with it. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting these three guitars to be perfectly placed. I gotta tell you this. If you can see the blue FGN and the uh, Eastman Les Paul, they are very close together and I can flip the FGN around, but both versions bring the guitars very close together. Now, I don't think they would scratch each, scratch each other up. However, I wouldn't ever, this case or any other case, put this in a plane without further protection. I know it's designed to do this, and I really love the concept, and I love the company, but any case, what I would do is, before I put this in a plane, I would either put bubble wrap around the guitars or stuff it with clothing. You're traveling anyway. Put shirts and pants, whatever, between the guitars, then no scratching can occur. I don't quite understand why people don't do this. Now, you can see that there's a little bit of space here. Now, what could happen is, even though this is tight with the necks, these can, if, they, if it gets bumped here, they can jump up because there's a little bit of space, and then they bang around at the bottom uncontrollably. Um, this is exactly what happened to my friend John Brown from Monument. John has one of these cases, but I think what happened is John bought it used and he bought a base case. So what happens is the base case is higher and there's a lot of space on top. I think I remember his case being higher. Now, for the base cases or for the higher cases, there are actually headstock blockers. 
which you just just like this and all this is uh, customizable and you move the headstock blocker in place and you actually also cut it at the perfect length that it sits on your headstock and the guitar cannot jump up. Great idea. So what you have to know, this right now is not perfect because this Friedman doesn't fit between the two um, the tweed, between the two bottom uh, dividers. Well, what I would have to do is simply just cut them a little bit and then it fits in. Right now it's kind of sitting on it instead of in between. So it's very tight, but that's the idea. Okay, you can see that it's pushing a little bit here, but the guitar really, if I pushed it down a little bit more, wouldn't be able to, uh, to move. Yeah, it's not 100% perfect for these three guitars, but what you do is you order the case custom. Scott Dixon is a custom company. Everything can be customized. Do you tell them, um, I have a bass and two guitars and then they make the bass height, but give you headstock blockers for the two guitars. Um, they give you the uh, correct uh, bottom spacing. They even put other blocks in it so the guitars can't go back and forth. Right now I would have a hard time fitting an offset guitar in here. It just doesn't fit. It's much longer and the body shape doesn't fit this triple row guitar case that Scott Dixon Company from England left me. However, it's not a problem because every case is custom, okay? You can say I need something that fits acoustic guitars. Well, this doesn't, but they make them. You can say I need something that fits hollow bodies. Well, a hollow body case would be longer. This doesn't fit hollow bodies, but they make that. So, I think this is a great concept. It's got a lock on it. It's got a holdy thing here. It's got a holdy thing on top. What I do want is a holdy thing at the bottom. I'm gonna close this up. Getting this on is a little bit difficult because it is kind of, it has to be perfectly in the groove. Well, it's music, you know, it has to be in the groove. Okay. So right now I got a good amount of cash in here. Um, you can see big ass corners everywhere and there are wheels. So the way that you move this on the airport is you literally wheel it around. But you can see, oops. Right here, it's missing one of these. Because then one guy can grab here, the other guy can grab here. Right now carrying it with two people is not that convenient, okay? And carrying it alone uh, with three guitars in it, obviously that's quite the bit of weight. Um, but what I would do to be secure, because I've learned from John Brown, is I would stuff it with clothing. Clothing, blankets, towels. Why take a risk, okay? Get a couple of cheap blankets, wrap them around the guitars, and then also stuff them on top so the guitars can't jump up because what happened to John was exactly that. The guitars jumped up because his case is too high without the headstock blockers and then they banged around at the bottom and they were a little bit banged up. So I would go shove something in between the guitars, stuff it a bit here and make sure I, you know, I have a pillow here. I probably have, I'll be right back. Here, that's what I would do, a cheap blanket, Bam, you know, close it up. Where are they gonna go? So, other than that, that I want double and triple security. These, the, the concept here is great. If you have a plastic case and it really gets banged into something, the, the plastic is not gonna budge, it is gonna break. This case will look beat up after a while. That's the idea, it will get banged up. Every trip you take with it, it will come back home with more dings and dongs and big, you know, uh, dents. But the guitars will be safe. So if you're in the market for something to tour with, you don't have a lot of options. Scott Dixon is one of them. You have to know about the customization. Call them and customize it to what you need. And you have to know about, uh, well, my personal opinion, which means stuff it anyway even though it's safe, um, and take the hex thing out. Other than that, these clock in a little bit of money because it's all custom, handmade,
but I met John from Scott Dixon Inc. One of the nicest people you will ever meet. It's a great company in England, all family business. Support them if you can, get your case there, travel, arrive with your guitars in style. Thanks for watching. I put some links to his company below and uh, thanks to Leslie for manning the camera. <laughs>